hello friends welcome to the tutorial of react js so here we are going to learn about the, what is redux so because redux is most popular so in the for managing the states so you can see that how much downloads they have they have weekly downloads like this so you can see that it's like it's too much popular so so we in this tutorial what we are going to learn what is redux why we are going to use redux and where to use the redux okay so let's have a look on that so what is redux redux is basically a state management tool if you go to the document uh, npm package it also says that <coughs> redux it allows to functions with logic inside can interact with the redux store dispatch and get methods okay so basically Redux is used for your state management if you have a big application. Let's take a scenario. Okay, so as as our uh, react app grows like uh, you are creating some of the modules if it is a big project if it is grows state generally becomes more and more spread out right state gonna be like uh, state gonna be like uh, you spreading like uh, you have added much more states on the components so on the different class based components so it, it's gonna be like messy on that state what we are going to use we are going to use redux to maintain all the states in one store right not uh, setting the state like like take an example suppose we have a header footer and a content area and i want to update this uh, like we have three components right and how I'm uh, suppose I uh, we have an add to cart button so I'm click on the add to cart button and there is a cart icon over here so when I click on that there should be updation of the co other components also right like suppose uh, we can see let's take uh, I don't have the example right uh, like UI perspective so basically when we have a, a add to cart screen when you click on the add to cart and there is a, a cart icon when you click on the add button so there is a reflection on the mini cart like there is a one product two product or the three product so they but think header component is different and the content area content is different but the state is managed whatever the change is here the change is automatically reflected on the header component also so to manage such kind of things we are going to use the redux that is the store so major benefits of redux is what if you're storing the state in the dome right if storing the state in the dome what exactly happens you will there is a lot of like it will it will be a mess of your application and causing a ton of headaches on our application scales right so therefore we are using redux on the top of that it provides a great developer experience such as live code editing combined with the time traveling debugger you can re use redux together with react or any of the framework like view angular react doesn't care about the dome that's the redux basically doesn't care about the dome redux does not render the dome elements it does not tell how to handle routing it is all about maintaining the application state right so redux basically doesn't think about the like we have to render into the dome elements it's basically a state management inside your components right just application state management nothing else so it how how the redux does such kind of things with the help of the every change in the store the store holds the whole state tree on your application and only the way to change the state inside if you want to change the state you need to dispatch without dispatching that uh, uh, like uh, function you can't change the state dispatch an action on it okay action can be dispatched then after that it can be changed the store the store is not a class it's just a simply object with few methods that is get states dispatch subscribe replace router okay core concepts of redux that is single source of truth Redux uses only one store for all its application states since all the states are resides in only one place that is store. State is read only. Yes, we know that the uh, that the only way to mute the state is to emit an action. Whenever you want to change the state or um, uh, mutate, mutate the state, you need to emit an action. An object describing what happened. This means that the application cannot modify the state directly. So if you are not 
if you think that the state can be modified uh, uh, like uh, easily or somewhere else no you need to dispatch the actions after dispatching the actions there is uh, after in you uh, first of all uh, like i have already the code but uh, we will discuss in the later videos right like uh, i have already this one like see this, this is based on the redux could adapt with the redux redux react redux tongue so we are going to implement at the end of the end of this tutorial so uh, first of all we are going to learn about the uh, redux what is okay so changes made with the pure functions so uh, as this described redux doesn't allow the applications to make direct changes to the state uh, okay instead of the dispatch actions it describes the state change and intent to the change the state pure functions reduces the, uh, should be written as a pure functions it doesn't make you outside the network so reducer should be written as a pure functions and it does not make outside network on a database calls it returns dependence value of its parameters its argument should be considered immutable meaning they should not be changed calling a pure function with the same set of arguments will always return the same value so these are the basic one that we are going to learn in the next video that what is a store what is provider what is connect dispatch action creators action reducers so what we have learned we have going concluded so basically what is redux redux is basically state management if you are a very big application you don't have the you don't have the, uh, like you, you have a headache like uh, managing the such kind of states uh, in very big applications so it's better use redux for that management and where you don't want to uh, use the redux so where static sites you don't need it where the sites have no state to manage situations where to view components internal states doesn't need to broadcast to the other components means like you have only one component and the state is like on this that platform there is a no other component that you want to change ref, change the state or change the reflection of that one just like example of the cart and the add to cart right to add product and cart mini so this is a relation so if you don't want to update in, in other components is the state so you can use that <coughs> okay so and uh, i think you are much clear about what it what exactly redux and when to use redux and when should not use to use redux right so this is the this is i think you get it what exactly the benefits of redux and when to use it okay any query in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day